Hey guys, Mark here. Hope you're well today. Well, we're here at Bulmer Lawn Motors here in the beautiful New Forest in the south of England. And today we're trying out the new Royal Enfield Meteor 350. Stick around and I'll give you my thoughts on it. Well, hi guys, and welcome along today to a review on the all new Royal Enfield Meteor 350. This is very kindly loaned to me by the guys at Bulmer Lawn Motor Motors here in the beautiful New Forest here in the south of England. So, we just run through the specifications on this beautiful machine. This is coming in with a 349cc single cylinder fuel injected, which is air and oil cooled putting out a very modest 20 horsepower at 6,100 RPM. These are Euro 5 now. 27 Newton meters of torque, a really nice low 4,000 RPM. This engine is super smooth and very, very refined. More of that later. Top speed on these is around about 70 mile an hour. But I say the charm of this bike is just cruising around on a sunny day, beautiful, quiet country lanes like what we've got here. And uh, that's what this bike's all about. Got a 15 litre fuel tank on this. I'm really nice low 765 millimetre seat height on this. Very, very comfortable. This is, I believe, the uh, touring seat, which is um, an addition, op optional extra. Nice and narrow at the front. Get your feet flat to the floor. Have a look at me on the bike, on the cutscene I'm going to put in for you. And just bear in mind, I'm not that tall. I'm five foot seven with a 30 inch inside leg. Just so I can just see how I can get my feet right down. Service intervals on these, very good. Got 6,000 mile service interval for here in the UK. And in India, uh, they have uh, 5,000 kilometers, 3,000 miles. So uh, we do benefit here in the UK with having longer service intervals, which is really good, 6,000 miles. Got a five speed gearbox on these with a heel and toe shifter. Takes a few minutes to get used to, but once you get the knack of it, it's really nice. 191 kilos wet weight these are. Tires on these, we've got a 100 section 19 inch front wheel. And we have a 140 section on the rear, nice and wide for lots of grip, 17 inch wheel. And these are running Seat tires, which is an Indian make, which are very, very good. ABS is standard here in, the, in Europe. Got a 15 litre fuel tank on these, it's just over three gallons UK. And these are incredibly economical. You should get up to 100 miles per gallon on this, so you could get a range of over 300 miles. So, really nice premium looking dash here, all your sort of trip meters, and you, it comes with the, uh, the tripper navigation system which you would have seen that I reviewed on the Himalayan a few weeks ago uh, it's powered by Google Maps and runs on the Royal Enfield app we've got a little neat USB just under the clutch there which is handy A2 license compatible for new riders I mean what a bike to have as a new rider three-year warranty on these which is great Got non-adjustable front forks, but the ride quality is lovely anyway. And we have preload adjustable shocks on the rear. Now price on these, it varies from 3879, 3,879 up to 4,039, dependent on what kind of spec you go for. 
Now the base model, which is called Fireball, it's basically just base model. Um, the the Stella comes with the backrest, and the Supernova comes with the screen and the backrest. And the colours are for the base model: you've got red and yellow. For the Stella, you've got black, blue, and red. And the Supernova, you've got blue and brown. As I said, this screen has been put on as an aftermarket. So there we go, guys. Royal Enfield meets your 350. I mean, just looking around it, the the finish on it, it is Royal Enfield have really up their game on this. It's it's looking superb for the money. What you're getting here is a lot of lovely bike. I mean, the the engine casings, the black engine casings there, it looks fantastic. Okay guys, let's do the test ride. Hey guys, welcome aboard Royal Enfield's new Meteor 350. So the first thing you notice when you sit on this bike is it's just got an, an air of premium quality about it. Royal Enfield have really upped their game. All the switch gear, the nice little bar end mirrors, all the um, master cylinder, all the switch gear, the nice raked back handlebars, it all just feels more premium than other models not that they weren't good but this is just even nicer so simple little key no electronics on this really um, no, just an ordinary key in the ignition and we have a really nice looking dash there chrome dialed analog speedo got your fuel there clock gear indicator trip and all your warning lights neutral ABS engine light and uh, battery and a very nice addition is you've got the tripper which obviously works from um, Google Maps and the Royal Enfield app. Um, it, all the clutch and brake lever all feels really nicely made. So fire her up on here. So it instantly settles down to a lovely, lovely single cylinder 350cc thump. It really, it's got a really nice sort of thump to it. Lovely. Okay, so we've got a heel and toe gear lever which takes a big bit of getting used to. So we're here in the beautiful New Forest here in the south of England. So we're not going to be going fast on this for the first few miles. And we'll take it on the main road a bit later to see what it's like at speed. So but as soon as you pull away on this, within about 30 seconds you fall in love with it. It's just that lovely BT soulful single cylinder. Lovely smooth clutch, nice early take, very nice weight on the clutch. So pushing down on my heel to change gear upwards. So it may not have much power, sort of 20 odd horsepower, but it's got a lot of torque. It pulls really well from the low end. And for a single cylinder, it's very, very smooth. Very smooth. At the moment, I'm doing 40 in fourth gear. I can't feel any vibrations at all, other than just a nice, characterful kind of thump from the engine. So we just run through all the features on the bike, guys. So just dropping it down to third now. Very nice, slick gearbox. Loads of pull out of the corners. So the bar end mirrors, very, very neat. No vibrations there, very clear. Nice view of the road behind me. Now this handles really nicely around the vents. The seat tyres feel great. So nice addition. I like the screen. Um, I know the base model doesn't have the screen, but I would definitely fit that screen. Just feels you've got something tucked behind out of the wind. So the dash on it, the speedo and all that there, very, very easy to read. Just over 40 miles an hour. Full tank of fuel, fourth gear, all easy to read, clock. Trip of navigation is good as well. I've tried that on the Himalayan, see my video on that. So this bike is all about cruising. Just gentle cruising, pretty much exactly what I'm doing now. Couldn't be any better. 
nice country road, sun's out, it's warm, dry roads. So we're now into fifth gear. It's a little bit chuggy at 40, I'll drop it just down to fourth. Fourth gear, 40 mile an hour is a bit happier. Oh wow, look at this, this is beautiful out here. Haven't been out here for a while actually. So the leg position, I like it. It's kind of, it's a mid position, so it's not right feet forward extended. It's not feet back. It kind of in that mid position, if you have a look at me on the video. It's very, very comfortable. I can't feel any vibrations whatsoever. And there's nothing, no vibes coming through the bars either or the seat. So it's a very, very smooth, very charming engine. I can see why everyone's been raving about this new model. I've just dipped into fifth now, about 45 mile an hour, and that's really happy, it's holding that nicely at this speed. So the actual ride quality, even though it's non-adjustable front forks, it's really good. This is quite a bumpy road here, these are quite old roads in the New Forest, and it's very, very smooth, plush ride quality. It feels a very stable bike, very steady in a straight line. I think it may have quite a long wheelbase. And it's just so happy just cruising along like this. All right, we'll just try a very quick brake test on the front brakes. Single front disc. Obviously they're bedding in, but they feel pretty strong. Back brake feels really good. We'll try the front brake a bit later on. Overall riding position, really nice wide bars, rake back, nice totally upright position, feet forward position, sort of midway, so all in all a lovely riding position for sort of relaxed cruising like this. So we're just coming into um, a town environment now guys, beautiful little town called uh, Bewley, we've got wild animals in the street here look or donkeys so we're just going to try out the uh, the Meechers low speed running what's it like was it fuel like is it snatchy does the fueling hunt and surge so we'll just pop it into third gear 25 miles an hour goodness me that's like witchcraft almost it's super smooth nothing at all through these bars vibration wise and nothing through the foot pegs Royal Enfield have done a cracking job with this. No hunting or kind of surging in the fueling. All very smooth. Throttle response. Nice and relaxed. Not snatchy or too instant. Just a nice, nice roll on of power. Very nice indeed. So we're 30 mile an hour. Yeah, that's really good, guys. So if you hunted to do some town work on this, go to work on it, it would be absolutely brilliant. Yeah, five stars for the uh, Meteor for its uh, low speed running. Pulls very keenly, 30 miles an hour up to 40, into fourth gear. Plenty of pull there from low down. Not a rocket ship, but it's definitely what this bike isn't about. It's just about cruising along like this without a care in the world. Does motorcycling get any better than this? So we're just trying the brakes out again. Full front brake. Yep, yeah. not bad at all for a single, so a single um, front brake disc. More than adequate for this bike. So once you're used to that uh, heel and toe gear change, it really is quite easy. All, all very positive and very easy to use. No false neutrals or anything like that. All in all, guys, I must say I'm really impressed with this. For the money, starting at £3,800, it's a cracking bike. Just for relaxing cruising. The, um, the quality of the ride is exceptional really is good 
Okay, we'll catch you in a bit and we'll be on the uh, bit more of an open road for a bit more speed. Okay guys, we're just going to come on to a bit more of an open road now, a bit more speed out of the uh, Meteor. Just opening up a bit in fourth gear. 50 mile an hour into fifth, top gear. Just winding it open, pulling nicely. All very happy at 55 here. No vibes whatsoever coming through the bars or the pegs. Just drop it down to fourth, third, just to get the revs up a bit. So at quite high revs now, and still no nasty vibrations whatsoever. So absolutely fantastic. Just coming on to a bit of a dual carriageway now. Just into fifth now. Coming up to a nice lazy 60 mile an hour. That is very, very happy at that speed. Holding its line nicely. No nasty vibrations whatsoever. And I'm just opening up a tiny bit now just to get by this car. And there's plenty of pull to get to get past things. So obviously 70 mile an hour pretty much flat out with this. 60 is where this bike's happy really I would say. So we're just cruising along at 60. The engine feels very relaxed, it's not screaming its head off or anything like that. Wind blast is totally acceptable with this screen coming off there nicely. Seating position feels great at this speed. I could ride this all day at this sort of speed. Really nice. Very relaxing indeed. All the ride quality feels great. But it's just, just the overall feel you get from this bike. It just feels much more than the sum of its parts, shall we say. And for the money, it's an utter bargain. Okay, so we're back into the uh, beautiful new forest again now. Yeah, so all in all, guys, really, really impressed with this. It's all about just gentle cruising on roads like this without a care in the world. This engine is an absolute gem. It's super smooth throughout the whole rev range. The, um, the ride quality suspension is excellent, really nice and plush. It handles well around the bends, the Seat tyres feel very good. The engine's got a nice a bit of torque from low RPM. It's not powerful, but that's, it's not about power. Brakes are absolutely fine for the job. All the, uh, the dash and the switch gear here, it's all very nice indeed. I do like the uh, heel and toe gear change, it's very nice. Clutch is light and smooth. The engine makes a great noise when you open it up a bit. Just for cruising like this, it's absolutely lovely. I would buy one of these myself if I had enough room. <laughs> to wrap it up there. See what it's like into neutral. So first gear, heel, neutral, first gear, heel, Neutral, easy. We'll just leave it running for a bit so you can hear this glorious sound of this single. That's really good. I'll just let you uh, look at that dash again. There you go. Really good. Decent size stand, I like that. Nice and easy to find. We'll just see what it's like to push around off the side stand. Yeah, moderate weight, it's about 190, 200 kilos this bike, I think. So it's easy to push around because it's quite low. The weight's nice and low, so 
that would be okay if you're pushing it around in your garage no problem at all see what the centre stand's like very easy that's all good okay let's have a final walk around shall we So yeah, see it tyres, very good. More than adequate front disc, ABS. Absolutely peachy smooth, very, very economical single cylinder 349cc engine there with beautiful quality finish. Absolutely first class. Kind of reminds me of a Triumph really. Good brakes. All the fit and finish here, all the welds, looks lovely. Obviously no, no LEDs on this. Chain drive, good service intervals of 6,000 miles. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that review of the Royal Enfield Meteor 350 as much as I did. Uh, that is a really, really nice bike and it's priced exceptionally well. At around the £4,000 mark. Please give me a like, share and subscribe, post your comments down below and um, let me know your thoughts on it. Are you going to get one? Have you got a Royal Enfield? And um, ride safe and catch you all again in another week or two for another video review. All the best guys, ride safe. Bye bye for now.